Okay, Josh, this is your 2Gen tutorial. Um, it's kind of confusing to say over the phone, so I'm going to make a video for you because you're stupid. No, I'm just kidding, dude. Uh, you're cool. Um, Alright, so let's. we need to find a... Find an edge. Okay, so we're gonna pair up the blue, the blue yellow. This one right here. So this is right here. So we're gonna make it so that they're opposite. Okay, so there's our blue yellow, right? And there's our blue yellow. And then we look right here. There's this orange white. Um, and okay, so we find the other orange white. Where is it? Where is it? Um, orange white's right there. Orange white. Okay. So. See, here's this orange white, and we're going to find the other one, which is right here. And this is where it needs to go. It needs to go in this up face in the back position. Now, this can be flipped. The orange white could be here. You never know. It's just, but you look for it, and you put it right there in this this little edge right here. Um, so there's your orange white, and there's that. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to pay attention to where it needs to go. Since this orange white right here needs to go on top of this orange white, you're going to make it so that when you pair up the edges... And you bring down, see that's not right. So, what you do is you go the other way. So we're back here, we have our orange white on bottom, okay? Our blue here, blue here, and then our orange on top. And then we're, we're gonna go the other way and pair them up like that, so they're paired up. Push them up, and then we're gonna bring the orange white down, see watch this, orange white down. And then we move our centers back, and boop, two gin, yay, okay. We just matched up two at the same time. Um, ah, well, here, I'll do another example. So, we have, I'm going to do the red-green, red-green right here, red-green right here, and blue-orange. Okay, so we find our blue-orange. Where's the blue-orange? This takes a while for me, even, okay. Um, there it is, okay, so, we put red, green, red, green, blue, orange, right, and here is the blue, orange, that's gonna go right there, so, what we do is we match up our red, green, right, and then you're gonna put it up there, and then when you bring the red, the orange blue down you have to make sure it's in the right spot so that it pairs together so I'm pairing two at this at once two at once okay so I'm gonna do red blue okay red blue and red blue and orange green well okay our orange greens already back there right so we we need to go this way with it um right okay pair them up okay and then if you watch there's our orange green yeah um and i believe yep okay so now we're here the last two edges you should already know this um i don't know but you know you do the double down r F prime U R prime F double down and it matches those up and then you solve it like a normal 3x3 three three. you know all this crap hopefully if you don't there's something wrong with you because I think you figured it out before I did but you still can't beat me and dude I'm way better than you and that's just the facts of course you're catching up though I will give you that you are catching up I feel the heat. I feel the heat. So, now, if I get parity, it's not my fault. <laughs> Actually, it is my fault. Dang. Okay, never mind. Okay. So, I'm just doing the basic, you know, stuff. And, ah, voila. I'm not going to get parity. Yeah, I did. Never mind. Okay. Um... I don't have my sheet on me anywhere, um, otherwise I'd help you, but, um, yeah, for, for now, I'm gonna cheat, 
I don't know that parity yet, so I'm gonna fix it, and I'm gonna sh I'm gonna help you out with the corner thing. Okay, that's how you solve parity right there, guys. For all, all those that are watching. Now, so we have our red, we have our orange, but these two right here need to be flipped. So we do this. Okay. Now, this one right here is is already fine, so you don't have to worry about it. But um, let's say you get this. Where, um, hold on. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. So this one's in the right spot. This one is in the wrong spot. And this one's in. So these two are flipped. These two need to be flipped. However that works. Flipped. Flip those two. Okay. So what you're going to do to flip them is you're going to do this one. Okay. And then you resolve your cross. Right? And then your corners, hold on, not all of them went. Alright, uh, it's been a while since I've done this way. I'm used to doing the PLL and junk like that. Okay, so now they're fine. See, there's the, yeah. So they're fixed, that's how I get past it. It's probably a roundabout way of doing it but there's that and then there's this one that you I don't know if you know but it's a clockwise rotation of this corner right here mm. yeah um there's the 4 by 4 I need to learn parody though and I think you do too I'll probably do that tonight cuz we don't have school in the morning Hopefully that video helped a little bit. Um, any more questions, post a comment or something. Let me know if I can explain it any better. Um, so, that's how you get around that, and that's 2Gen. Um, good luck.